Hi, welcome to Oko Amster. This is a follow-up video to the one made previously about my Mac being extremely slow after I updated the operating system to Mojave, which is Mac OS 10.14. Long story short, I brought it to the Apple Store and they erased my drive and installed Mojave to get it back up and running. Now, for the longer version, I work with total six Apple support reps. Two over the phone, two in chat, two in the store. Before I went to the store, the folks that was on the phone and chat, we went through disk utility, diagnostics, wireless diagnostics. One reason we went with wireless diagnostic was not only was the computer extremely slow, when I try to click on the Wi-Fi adapter, it says hardware not found. And also for the USB, if I plug in any storage device, it's not popping up in Finder. Also checked file vault, uh, boot into safe mode to make sure I don't have any extensions or other apps that might conflict with it. And for Favo, they, were, they kept asking me, is it running in the background? I'm like, no, it's, it's not running. There's at least no progress bar. Then we also went to recovery mode and reinstalled Mojave through there. And that did not resolve the issue. So the fourth rep I, I worked with said, oh, they see internal bulletin that their engineers are looking into this. And after all that, they said, okay, you can bring it to the store. That's why they scheduled me to go to the store yesterday. And there's no cost. Because it's a software issue, not a hardware issue, I did not need to pay anything to bring this into the store. When I went to the store yesterday, they were with two reps. The first rep wanted to reinstall Mojave. And from their local server, they had a, an iMac or a Mac Mini in the back. And the general was saying that, okay, perhaps the one I downloaded from Apple was corrupt if case there were some Wi-Fi issues. After an hour, that did not resolve it. So then the person had to leave, passed me off to another support rep, and that rep said, okay, now let's erase everything and install Mojave. So while that was going on, I was chatting with them, and other folks have brought their computers in with this type of issue. They haven't found a pattern. It's happened to old Macs, new Macs, upgrade from different types of operating systems. So this is the late 2013 MacBook Pro with Retina. And well, it sucks that it happened to me. Other folks I know updated to Mojave on day one and did not encounter the issue. The issue. For fo other folks out there that want to save yourself some time on resolving it, you could, you could erase your own computer. You can restart everything on a hard drive by just booting into recovery mode by pressing the Command R. And through there, you can run disk utility to erase your drive. And in recovery mode, what I noticed was that the wireless adapter does work. So you can still download the, um, or download the Mojave package and install it yourself. You don't need to go through what I went through. I spent over 10 hours working with various Apple support reps. So after two hours at the store, finally the computer was up and running. Now, a couple of things that uh, caught my attention was they were asking me, do I use file vault? I said, yes. At a store, they said, okay, if, if you don't need it, you don't need to use it. So I started diving into like, why is that? The previous file system was for like HFS plus, for example, um, I was I had file vault for there using it on, on that file system, but Mojave, Mojave has moved to a APFS file system. I did not know that. I actually don't know much about Mojave other than dark mode. I updated this computer just because I wanted dark mode. I guess I should have read the uh, other features that came up with Mojave. But I'm guessing that between the switch, between switching from a file vault HFS plus to file vault APFS, maybe something happened there. I'm not sure. This, this is just a wild guess. Other thing that multiple Apple reps, I think just about almost all of them, except for uh, one of the senior reps asked me was, do I use Time Machine? Uh, so I don't use Time Machine. At first I thought I should have, but then when I start asking them, would Time Machine have helped me in this situation? Their response was no. I'm like, oh, then even if I did use Time Machine, it wouldn't help me. Why no? They explained that Time Machine does not make a copy of my operating system. Time Machine just makes a copy of my operating system preferences, my properties, and my own personal files, videos, documents. 
So because I went to Mojave, if I ran Time Machine, it would just restore my preferences that I had with Sierra or High Sierra, and it'll restore my files. But my issue is with the core operating system. Another thing with Tom Mojave is my computer has 500 gigs of storage. I'm, I'm always using close to 500 gigs because I'm always editing videos. I'll need to allocate one terabyte for the Time Machine um, backup or image. I'll look into Time Machine some other time, but for other folks out there, Time Machine is not saving grace. Time Machine is not like a snapshot or a backup that we use for Hyper-V or VMware. It's, it's nothing like that. So just keep that in mind. Now, the saving grace for me was I was able to back up some of my files using Android File Transfer. And I had that installed on here before I had any sort of issues. It was running in the background, so I was able to copy files to my Android device using Android File Transfer. I was not able to copy any large files, nothing that was 4 gigs or more, but I can copy smaller files like less than 4 gigs. It's better than nothing. I hope this video can help other folks out there that encounter the same issues I did. I didn't find anything else quite like it on the web, not on Reddit, not on Google search results. But keep in mind, you can always just resolve it yourself at home by running, booting to recovery mode, running disk utility, then reinstalling Mojave. If that doesn't work, you can schedule a time to go into the Apple store. And with me, they did not charge me anything because this was a software issue. All right, thanks for watching Oka Hamster. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me.